All right, what is going on, everybody? I am Outer Space Gaming, and uh, we're doing another unboxing. So, uh, this is a Funko Pop unboxing, as what I usually do on here, and uh, we're just gonna get right into this. And uh, this is not a Funky Bob box. Uh, however, it I don't like that. Oh, I, I don't like that one. All right, what is going on, everybody? Um, we are going to be taking some more things out of boxes today. So let's jump right in, I suppose. Uh, I did open this box already, too. So it would just make things a little bit more streamlined for you guys watching and uh, make it a little bit easier for me to take everything out of the box. So these are Funko Pops again. And uh, I'm just going to take each one of these out of here. And then, uh, as I do in all of my videos, I'm going to go over each one of them individually. Uh, so you guys can see what they are. And, uh, already I can see a couple that, like, I know the reference of, uh, and then one that I have no idea what it is. Alright, so let me just present these up to you guys. Nice and neat. And, uh, let's go over these. So the first one is, uh, Green Arrow here. Which is John Diggle. <laughs> Yeah, look at this dude. What's up with that name? John Diggle. Uh, he's green. And, uh, I've never seen Arrow before. And this is the, uh, television series, as you guys can see here. I'm trying to show you guys. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, I've never seen this before. And I've never actually heard of this. So look, another exclusive sticker, um, that we've never seen before. I knew one, actually. A Fugitive Toys Exclusive. Very interesting, never seen that before. And these do have stickers on the top, it looks like. Um, which, I don't know if that is the price for each of these pops, which, if it is, this is a pretty big haul, so far, from what I can see. Uh, but we're gonna check these prices, as I always do, just to verify, because they do fluctuate in price. But, uh, yeah, I don't know who this is. <laughs> He's got a cool name, though, so I'll give him that, you know. But, uh, yeah, I've never seen the arrow. John Diggle. Nice. Alright, uh, yeah, not much to say. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, moving on to this one. Now, this is the one that I had no idea what it is. Uh, Hanna-Barbara Wacky Races. And it looks like he might be flocked as well, because he does, uh, he is actually fluffy. Like, he's got, like, the little fuzz, like, almost like a suede, uh, material covering him. And it is a Gemini Collectibles exclusive. Muttley. Very cool. Uh, it looks like it might be, was like a, a, well, obviously, it's part of the animation pop series, so it was a cartoon at some point. Um, and I want to say I've seen this guy somewhere. Like an old cartoon. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, like an old, like, maybe 70s, 80s, because I know Hanna-Barbara. Um, aren't those the, those are the people that made a lot of cartoons. I can't recall exactly which ones, but I've heard that name before. Never heard of Muttley before, but, uh, that raccoon or fox or whatever with the hat is very familiar to me as well as this mischievous uh train conductor looking character but uh yeah very cool like i said it is blocked so he looks very fuzzy and uh he's got a little aviator's helmet very cool moving on now these two i probably have a better idea of um so here we have a walking dead one which uh was a huge television series for quite some time uh, and it's still probably pretty big with some people, but this is Prison Glen Ree. I don't know why I have it all the way up there, sorry. Uh, Prison Glen Ree. Just gonna move the microphone over so it's a little easier for you guys to see, or, uh, hear. Uh, but he's got an SMG, or like an AR, it looks like. Um, very cool. I never actually watched this before. I know my family, um, watched it, my parents, my sister, uh... And I think actually one of my cousins or something like that. I know a lot of people had actually really enjoyed this. But, um, I never watched it. So, unfortunately for me, I can't make any sort of connections with the character. But I do know who, who Glenn is. He was the, uh, the Asian dude. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool little figure. Very nice. Got, like, some army fatigue pants and stuff. 
Uh, and then this is the big one. This is the one that uh, I actually grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. And uh, I think I still have like a uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon somewhere in here. Uh, that is the Funko Pop. But in it, this one is uh, Maximilian Pegasus, which was a uh, bad guy or an uh, antagonist character in the series animation. Gives you guys a good look at this guy. He is pretty scary looking. He's got the old eyeball thing going on. Um, he's got the weird purple or pink hair. Purpley pink hair. Light purple. Uh, and then on the back you can see some of the other characters. So very cool. I did grow up with this. Like I said, I used to collect actually quite a few Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh, back in my, my youngin days. I don't anymore, obviously, but um, I had some pretty cool ones. I had the Egyptian God cards and stuff. And uh, I think I had like one or two pieces of, Exo of Exodia. But you can see there's Red Eyes Black Dragon, which was cool, and then there is Exodia, and then Yugi and uh, Joey. Pretty cool. Very cool. I'm surprised that there's not a Kaiba one, but uh, yeah, that's uh, everything for the Funko Pops from the mystery box. I'll show these guys to you right here so you can keep looking at those, but I actually have a little extra thing. So if you guys noticed at the beginning of the video, I did move something out of the way from the front of the box, uh, and this is because we don't have any mystery grails, but instead we have another VHS. So this is um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It is a blockbuster rewind VHS, uh, basically like a minifigure that you would get. Uh, here, let, me, let me show you guys real quick. So this is basically what you would get in these. So this is a soda, which you guys have seen here on the channel, if you guys are reoccurring viewers. Um, but we have these too. So these we I've actually done before, but it was only one time ever. So it's pretty cool that uh, I have another one here to show you guys. So uh, I took all the plastic off already. I didn't open it up, uh, but we're looking for the chase of the old Chevy chase here, uh, <laughs> which uh, hopefully we get. So let's just open this up and see what we got. Don't want it to fall out. Uh, and no, it looks like it looks like a regular one, which isn't bad. It's still pretty cool. Uh, this was way before my time, though. National Lampoon videos, uh, movies were actually are quite old. A little bit before my time. Not really my my thing, but they are quite funny. So here we can see he's got a blockbuster card, really showing the age here of uh <laughs> of my age, I guess, or some of this stuff. So you can see there Clark Griswold, which is um, Chevy from the National Lampoon movies. The father. Pretty cool. Uh, and then here we have the figure. I'm going to try to take him out of the plastic without actually damaging anything or the bending the plastic. Because he does have a small little crystal mousse in his hand. You guys can see there. So, very cool. He's got a Christmas hat on. He is ready for the festive holidays. He's even got the Christmas tie to go with it, which is really cool. Very nice. Uh, I might end up doing some stuff like that. I do have an ugly sweater uh, for Christmas time, which I'm sure a lot of people do. Christmas is a pretty big thing. But, yeah, speaking now on the figure, it looks really nice. There is no articulation in any of these figures. They are just basically static molds that have been painted. But, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I thought it was pretty cool that I got to open up another VHS because, uh, like I said, I did do them once before, and there was actually a lot of them that I had opened up. I can't remember which one, but it was a huge unboxing that I did. Um, I'll probably leave, like, a thumbnail or one of those little things that pop up in the corner that you guys can see uh, or click on that you guys can watch that one because it was a lot of stuff. There was, like, a giant 2-liter of, like, a, a fake 2-liter with a bunch of stuff in it, and uh, I think I did have a lot of VHSs in that one. But anyways, uh, that is everything that I have to unbox for you guys. My apologies, I didn't know the camera was out of focus. Um, but now what I'm going to do is the um, pretty much the last part of the video where I'm going to get all of the prices down for each of these pops. Uh, and then I'm going to let you guys know what that is. So I'll be right back with that. Alright you guys, so I got all of the um, prices down for each of these pops. And uh, as per the stickers on the top, they are all accurate. Um, and we're gonna go over those numbers right now. So we'll start off here on the top with Muttley. So Muttley, because he was flocked, uh, he's actually $75, which is a huge amount of money for, uh, or a huge value for this figure, which uh, is pretty cool. All, all of the flocked figures are pretty expensive. So to see him kind of follow that same trend is not very surprising, but $75 is quite a bit. 
for one figure, which is cool. Um, moving on now, we have Glenn. Glenn was thirty-two dollars, uh, which is a again another substantial amount. Um, typically, we see these within the price range of like fifteen to seventeen dollars, uh, which we'll get into now, which is Maximilian. Uh, Maximilian's fifteen. So, going from seventy-five to thirty-two to 15 15 is like i said average and without sounding redundant i'll leave it at that and we'll move on to john diggle uh which is 55 dollars which that was crazy uh i don't actually i've never seen this before i don't know if it's a big show or not i don't know if there's a lot of people watching it um but 55 dollars is uh quite a bit for um a show that i personally never seen or even heard people talking about so kind of strange there but uh uh $55 is nothing to scoff at. Uh, and then moving on now to the final one, which is the um, Clark Griswold figure that we got here in the VHS thing with the Blockbuster or whatever. Uh, he's $38. So altogether, this was a huge pull. And uh, if I could just crunch some numbers real quick. So doing some quick math, um, all of these pops, including Clark over here, uh, equates to about $215. Um in value in Funko Pops, which is a huge amount, uh, considering there's only five items here. So a very, very good pull um, as far as the numbers go. Um, as far as like the pop or like the references and stuff, I'm not too keen on them. The only one really was uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! And um, Maximilian, I think, was like the first guy that Yu-Gi ever like battled other than like Kaiba or whatever. But um, I don't really watch a lot of this stuff. I'm sure that some of you guys have um, which, if you guys see any of these pops and figure them to be something that you would be interested in um, um, getting, basically, we do sell these pops. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description of where you guys can actually pick up one of these figures for yourselves if you guys are interested in them. Uh, but that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you've seen a pop that kind of uh, emanated or radiated within you, you know, or like um, really brought back some nostalgia, perhaps. Um, but yeah. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. That's everything for, that I got for you guys. And uh, that's it. Peace.